Hey everybody, welcome to this Bandai course procedural texturing and shading. Welcome to episode 0.2, where I'll show you how we're getting ready to shade and actually to start off the tutorials. This one is pretty handy if you um, are new to the channel, if you are welcome. And uh, I'll show you how we'll set up everything so you have the same results as I do in Eevee. And cycles, of course. Let's not forget about cycles. So, first things first. Let's go to Edit, Preferences, and let's enable some add-ons, right? I think most of these are already enabled by default. But we want to use the Bool tool. We want to enable Loop tools. And the most important one, we want to enable the Note Wrangler. The Note Wrangler is most important because this allows us to use some shortcuts within the Note setup. That will ease our life um, by a bunch. So okay, once you have these add-ons enabled, you can close this again. So now, let's go and delete the default cube. And let's bring in Suzanne for now. Oh, where is she? Here she is. So, I'm going a bit closer. I'm going to press Ctrl 2 to give it some subsurface. Then we want to press W and press Shade Smooth. Okay, now we go over to our lovely shading window. And then once we zoom in again, press period to focus on Suzanne. You can press the middle mouse button to rotate around her. And then let's disable our overlays. Most right here, we have our shading options. We have these, we have this HDRI selected. I'm gonna keep it selected because I think it's the nicest one to preview um, our shaders on. You can also enable scene lights if you want to enable more lights. So you can add some lights to the HDRI and mix and pop it out a little bit more. You can test how it, the shader reacts to different lights. We will definitely be using that. Of course you can also use the scene world, but by that point you can maybe just move to the viewport shading rendered. Let's disable this again. So now with Suzanne selected, we're just gonna press new shader and a principal shader pops up here. We're gonna talk about a principal shader a little bit later in this course. But first, let's move the roughness down. Just follow me on this. So we can preview some settings. Let's go over to the render settings and we wanna enable some stuff. First, ambient occlusion. We want ambient occlusion in our render here. That looks nice. The bloom is optional. I, it depends how I feel. Like if I'm ha pretty happy, if I had a good day, I'll put on the bloom, it's nice. But you know, it just makes it nicer looking. And the main reason I use it is for emissive shaders. So if we have a light in a shader or something that like lava, then the bloom can represent glowing objects more. So you can keep it turned on. Then there's the screen space reflections. We also want to turn these on. The screen space reflections will reflect two objects off of each other. So if you, for instance, duplicate, we can see, like if you, uh, if you keep an eye on the left side of Suzanne here, if you move this one, you see Suzanne being moved. If we disable this, we don't see. And only the HDRI is reflected. So we want to turn that on. Second thing you want to second thing you want to disable is going to screen space reflections and is the half rest trace. If your computer starts running slow now, maybe you want to keep it on. It speeds things up by quite a bit, but normally Eevee shouldn't have a problem with this. We keep the rest of the settings as this for now. Okay, the next one is over at shadows. We want to enable soft shadows over here. And then put the cube size on 2K and the cascade size on 2K. This will improve our shadows by quite a bit. And last but not least, we want to go to color management on the bottom. And we see that filmic is enabled, but the look is set on none. What I like to do here is put this on medium high contrast. This will pop the whites and lower the blacks a little bit more. And in my opinion, give it a little bit of more realistic look. All right, let's delete the second Suzanne over here. Focus back on our first Suzanne. The last thing I want to do 
If you have this, go to the texture folder on my drive. And so I have all my textures available here. One last thing that I mentioned in a previous video is I like to put this on the UV editor. And for now, I'm gonna save this scene. So these are the settings you need to preview your shaders. In the next episode, we're gonna make our own shading setup so we can preview shaders even better. So, you ready? Let's hop on to the next episode.